During a recent visit to Washington, German parliament member Hans Orli Klose said that as the United States turns its attention to Asia, the European Union will have to make more of an effort to resolve its own economic and political problems. So far, the Europeans had a good living uh, knowing that if there are difficulties in, in Europe or in the European periphery, be it in the south or be it in the east, the United States would be ready to not only assist, but also take a lead and help us to overcome these difficulties. Klose said that the U.S. pivot to Asia could weaken transatlantic commerce, which accounts for nearly half of all global trade. But Klaus Laris, professor of international relations at the University of North Carolina, says Europe has no reason for concern. The Europeans themselves are looking increasingly towards China and Asia to sell their products. And we also know the uh, successful export industry of uh, Germany would not be as successful without uh, exporting to China and uh, Asia and India and Brazil and similar countries. But analysts agree that Europeans will have to pay closer attention to what is happening in their immediate neighborhood. Which is quite something to realize because our neighborhood is Northern Africa and our neighborhood is uh, the Middle East that for good reasons we call Near East. <laughs> because it is pretty close to us mm -hmm. and what's going on there is of immediate relevance to us and of course we are interested what's going on there. As Europe's strongest economy, Germany is sometimes expected to take the lead in the continent's foreign policy. Laris says German politicians, including Angela Merkel, have been hesitant to take political and military leadership of Europe for fear of evoking the specter of Nazi Germany. Many people call her uh, on her and say, you have to give a big visionary pro-European speech. And I think we will wa wait in vain for that, because she probably doesn't have that deep enthusiasm herself. And secondly, she doesn't want to estrange any parts of the population who wouldn't like that sort of speech. But analysts say Germans have no problem taking the lead of Europe's economy. And Ms. Merkel has shown no hesitation in imposing unpopular measures to save Europe's common currency. Laris says most German politicians deeply believe in a strong and united Europe, as does the United States. And he says both countries will benefit from expanding ties with Asia. Zlatica Hoek, VOA News, Washington.